Hello, my name is Markus Alba. I'm a medical physicist at the University of Heidelberg and today I'm presenting the secondary dose check software Simoca from the AAPN conference 2018 in Nashville, Tennessee. Simoca is a Monte Carlo dose calculation powered tool for secondary dose calculation and plan QA. It offers the accuracy of Monte Carlo, which is enhanced by custom machine-specific beam models. It also offers a streamlined web-based user interface that is incorporated into an extendable service-oriented architecture. The integration into the clinical workflow is seamless by means of DICOM interfaces. It offers a suite of comprehensive analysis and reporting tools for dose analysis, and the software does not require any proprietary hardware. Samoka supports linear accelerators from Electa, Siemens. It also supports accelerators from Varian with the exception of Halcyon. It offers support for CyberKnife, for the cone collimators, the iris collimator and the incise 2 multi-leaf collimator. It offers support for tomotherapy, which is still pending regulatory clearance. It interfaces with all treatment planning systems that provide DICOM export. It is suitable for dose computation of photon treatments delivered as 3D conformal IMRT VMAT stereotactic body radiotherapy or stereotactic treatment. The workflow starts with the submission of a patient to the DICOM server of the software, which creates a new entry in the patient work list. Upon receival of the patient data, the dose computation is started automatically, the plan report is generated automatically and the progress of these operations appears in the patient work list. Once the plan evaluation is complete, the user can access uh, a number of plan evaluation tools. One of them is shown here. This is a comparison of the treatment plan dose, the Simoka secondary dose and the difference between the two doses all the plan metrics that are required to compare these two plans can be configured in case-specific or plan-specific scripting. There is also an interactive DVH analysis that shows both dose distributions um, and also offers an interactive dose cursor. There is finally an image viewer which displays the dose distributions of both the treatment planning system and Simoka and it also shows um, a gamma distribution on each CT slice. The accuracy of the system has been validated against a number of established treatment planning systems. One study was performed against Varian's latest edition of the Acuras dose computation engine, and it turned out that both algorithms deliver very comparable results. Differences between these two algorithms could only be found if a gamma evaluation of 1% 1 millimeter was applied. Um, the results of this comparison have been recently published in medical physics. A similar validation study was performed um, against the CyberKnife Precision 1.1 Monte Carlo dose computation engine. Um, those are the examples in the lower right hand corner and again very good agreement even with a gamma 1 criterion of 1% 1, 1 millimeter could be found. The tomotherapy validation has been performed against the Multiplan 5.3 treatment planning system and again a, lot, a very good agreement between these, these two algorithms has been found. The Simoka Monte Carlo algorithm is a evolution of well-established algorithms in the field of radiotherapy. Starting with the introduction of the EGS4 Monte Carlo code, which has become the first and most important Monte Carlo code in medical physics, a number of developments have originated from there. One is the EGSNRC Monte Carlo code by Ivan Kavrakov, which today is arguably the best multi-purpose Monte Carlo engine available. Another branch of development starting from EGS4 was the family of VMC codes, also by Ivan Kavrakov and by Matthias Fippel, which in contrast to the EGSNRC algorithm, are specialized for the dose computation in patient geometries. The VMC algorithm has been implemented as XVMC algorithm in the Electa Monaco treatment planning system, and which was a previous long-term product of mine. 
We then looked at the particular strengths of the VMC code and the EGS and RC code and made our pick of the best methods to produce a Monte Carlo code which is optimized for the use in patient geometries and is optimized for speed. To achieve a high level of accuracy in the clinic, it is necessary to customize the B models of the Monte Carlo code to a particular linear accelerator. We have created a unique process for the customization of B models that allows us to achieve a very high accuracy in, the, in practice. What is shown here is a number of water phantom dose measurements um, for a cyber knife beam. On the right side we see depth dose curve for 7.5 mm circular field and for a 60 mm circular field. In these plots the red curve is the measurement, the blue curve is the Monte Carlo simulation and the green curve is the error. It is visible that we, we can achieve an accuracy of less than 0.5% in the depth of those curves, even for these very small field sizes. The image in the center is the output factor curve for the cyber knife beam, and again, we achieve an output factor accuracy of less than 0.5% for the cyber knife. In the left-hand column, we see two cross profiles for circular collimators of the cyber knife, with a five millimeter and a 15 millimeter circular collimator. The same level of accuracy can be achieved for accelerators with a large field. The example shown here is a Electa Versa HD accelerator with a 6 MV flattened beam. On the right side we again see the output factor curve and below that curve there is the error. Um, in this example the error is in the order of 0.2% which is very close to the output factor stability of the accelerator and is also very close to the statistical uncertainty in the Monte Carlo dose computations. In the center column we see depth dose curves of a small field 10 by 10 millimeters and the maximum field size of 400 by 400 millimeters and the errors in these depth dose curves are well below 1%. The left column shows cross profiles for very small and very large fields um, with a very high accuracy. This high level of accuracy does not come at the expense of computation time. This slide shows benchmarks for a number of clinical cases with typical clinical voxel sizes and medium price hardware. And it basically turns out that a clinical case for a, a, a normal linear, linear accelerator can be computed in less than a minute in even the most demanding cases compute in about two minutes. So it's fair to say that Simoka computes the dose faster than the linear accelerator needs to deliver that treatment. A similarly high performance can be shown for the cyber knife computations. For stereotactic computations, it is often required to have very small voxel sizes. And even for these small voxel sizes, the dose computation times stay well below two minutes in for normal cases and a maximum of three minutes for cases that um, require stereotactic body radiotherapy. Simoka has received 510k clearance. In Europe, we have a number of preclinical validation sites that have been working with the system for more than two years and have been producing validation studies for us. Um, the system is in clinical use in Rotterdam where several thousand treatment cases have so far been computed. Thank you very much for your attention. For more information visit iba-dosimetry.com.